Lego Star Wars has been regarded as a childhood classic. Its revolutionary gameplay helped grow an entire fan base that still supports this decade old game to this day. However, that doesn't mean this game has its sour moments. Today, I'll be counting down some of my least favorite levels in LEGO Star Wars. But before we jump into the list, here are some dishonorable mentions. The first one is General Grievous. This level is okay, but it is way too short. This level should include more than just the fight against Grievous. It should have like Obi-Wan and Cody fighting their way through Utapar, whatever it's called. There should also be the bike chase. That was pretty big in the movie. Other than that, this is just a toned down version of Jedi Destiny. The second is Hoth Battle. I actually like this level. The music rocks. It is fun to shoot everything. However, you do die a lot, which is a real nuisance, and it makes getting true Jedi a pain in the bum. I left it out because there's a, a certain other level that is almost identical, which we will get into. Number 5. Through the Jonlin Waste. I used to hate this level. The Tuscan Raiders. I hate them. They are so annoying. Like, you'll be doing a build or trying to use the force and then they'll keep shooting at you and then when you do kill them there's just more of them really really annoying however I think this is my fault now that I think about it uh, there are some good stuff to this like the sand crawler going into the sand crawler and getting R2D2 and C3PO uh, it's, it's very cool but that, that's the only high point of this level Everything is just a painful slog to the end. I mean, I don't hate this level as much as I used to, but it's one level I certainly do not look forward to in new games. Number 4 Retake Feed Palace I know I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite here, but I think this level is uh, too long. It just drags itself on for too long. Uh, you know, one part I don't like is the one where you gotta rescue the pilots. Honestly, she just that part out. I mean, all of the puzzles, they're just time wasters. You know, trying to have all six characters step on a thing or whatever. Like, it's not, it's not that fun. Uh oh. But, you know, one thing I do like is the interior design. You know, the statues and the hallways, they look very nice. Other than that, this level kind of sucks. Number three, Dagobah. I'm pretty sure you know why this is on here. It's those goddamn bats. I hate them. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. They're the worst enemy ever. At the start, you know, it's pretty easy to kill them with the blaster because, you know, it like auto aims onto them. You don't even have to worry. But once you get the lightsaber, it's much harder. Like, they'll gang up on you. And, uh, like, I swear, every single time you lose a heart. I would like to see someone do this level without losing a single heart. But besides those dang bats, God, I hate them. I find this level to be quite boring. There's nothing really interesting besides like the Darth Vader fight. But even then, it's not even that great. If you ask me, this level is just filler. I mean, well, okay, that's kind of not true because it was, was an important part of the movie. But they should have made it a bit different, maybe more fun, I guess. I don't want to sound like a like I know what I'm talking about because I certainly don't know what I'm talking about I probably suck at this game but whatever I, that's just some stuff I have to say about this level number two speeder bike showdown 
This is one of the most repetitive levels in the whole game. The objective is to get to this landing pad and blow it up. But in order to get to the landing pad, you have to destroy these shield generator things. But in order to get to the shield generator things, you have to shoot down these speeder bike troops. And let me tell you, shooting down these troops is no easy task. For one thing, it seems like I'm always crashing into everything in the map. Like inanimate trees that you cannot destroy. Or my teammate, the AI. The other thing is the enemy AI. If you shoot them, sometimes they'll flip around and then they'll get behind you. And no matter how slow you go, they will always, and I mean always, be behind you. Forcing you to flip backwards and they will be all the way up front Which is a real pain in the butt and then there's the parts with the ATST Sometimes you have to kill stormtroopers and you have to use the force or you know, Destroy the ATST to get the stormtrooper out of it so then you can use it and, you know, that's not really fun, because it seems like it's always stepping on you or killing you. And then when you do, you know, it's easy. You shoot the thing, it blows up. But then you gotta do it three more times. And I'm not also forgetting to point out that there are two times where you have to build it yourself. The infinite stormtroopers also show up at the ending part, where you're trying to use an AT-AT to blow up the thing. You gotta shoot these satellite dishes, and it's very boring. It's very basic, very boring, you know. It could be improved. Like, for one thing about this level, it should have just been shooting down the bikes, because that's really just what happened in the movie. But this is only number two. What could be number one? Well, let's jump into it. The final and worst level in LEGO Star Wars. Number one. That's right, folks. At number one, we have Gunship Cavalry. I think it's pretty fair to say that this is unanimously known as one of the worst levels in the game, especially on the original LEGO Star Wars, because that had a part, it was timed, I think, I don't know, I haven't really played it, this is only the revamped version, but um, it still sucks, for number one, everybody Everybody hates the lasers. The lasers are the worst thing about this map. Talk about a horrible enemy. I know I said the bats were the worst, but these, these are just awful. They are even worse than the bats. And not only are the lasers awful, but so is dragging the bombs to the little uh, energy things that block off you from going to the end of the level. It's a real pain trying to drag them to the thing because they can fall into the little holes in the ground or when you die they can fall off the mountain. They're awful, they're hard to control and they never really seem to hit the thing you want it to hit. Especially at the final phase. That's right, if you thought the previous part was bad, this is like 10 times worse. Not only do you have to drag the bombs, but you have to drag them into the laser things to destroy the laser things, and it's really difficult. Sometimes when you're trying to get a bomb from a bomb dispenser, it hits an enemy. That's really annoying. And then sometimes when you're trying to drag the bomb into the laser, it goes everywhere but to the laser. I mean, my method of dragging it to them isn't really the smartest, but I don't know how else to do it. This level sucks. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is dying the level because I don't know how many times I died during this level. It is truly a poorly made level. They should have remade it 
probably should have made it like uh, the, the asteroid chase. Yeah, they should have made it like that. Had the torpedoes instead of those dang bombs that I hate. But yeah, this is the worst Lego Star Wars level ever made. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys would agree too. So that's all I have today for you. I hope you enjoyed this top 5. It probably sucked. I'm not exactly Mr. YouTube over here. Okay, I literally made this in Microsoft Movie Maker. But hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you guys, have a nice day. I'll see you later.